Hello, so today I'm going to try to make this a really quick tutorial. So all you need is paper, anything to fill this with, tape, something to draw or color with, and color with, and paper, yeah, paper. So first you got to fold it. It doesn't have to be even. And we're going to be making a Pop-Tart paper squishy. So first we got to get this and go to the crease and get the thing that you're drawing with and start it on the crease and make it curved like a pop tart like that i don't know if you can see that really well but there it is and now make your frosting however you like Pop-Tarts frosting isn't really that nice. Isn't really that smooth and stuff. But that's okay. So now what you got to do, if you want, you can make a face. But I'm going to make a face. And you make your face if you want to make one. If you don't, skip ahead to... 140. Okay, so now that you did that, if you did your face, make sure you cut it in if you want to. Okay, and then you trace all the lines that you made. All the lines. It does not beat. You have to trace it with a dark marker. And make sure you also have some scissors. Okay, so once you got that done, you will make sprinkles if you want to, and I might, I'm going to make sprinkles because who doesn't love sprinkles? Mariah Elizabeth loves them. And now you can get whatever coloring thing that you want and color it. And a um color whatever you want and the sprinkles can be the different color markers that you have but i'm making it all gold and i'm not going to color the frosting but that's okay so now what you got to do once you get that done you gotta cut it out. So make sure you have your scissors. These are the scissors that I have. And you cut it out along the line. Even the double piece. The second piece un underneath. So you do that. So if you have somebody's birthday that's coming up and you have to go in like 25 minutes, this is the thing that's for you. So you should have this. Something like this. Now you get your tape. Any kind of tape. But packaging... Packaging tape is really recommended for this type of project. So, yeah. Okay. And once you get the packaging tape, uh, you don't have to use packaging tape. It's just really recommended. Okay. Mine ripped, so it's kind of taking a little bit. But I'm trying to match them together. Okay. <laughs> okay. So once you got your tape, got to tape the sides together so you do that first make sure you tape the sides together once you got the sides tape my fingerprint is on that tape but it's okay please don't come looking for me because don't try and get my DNA please because nobody needs it right now 
<laughs> in the life that we're living in. Nobody needs my DNA. Okay. <laughs> now you need a little bit more tape if you didn't get a lot. And tape the other side. I'm going to have to cut some of this off because I got it uneven, but that is a-okay. Okay. So, you need a little bit more tape. Eh, kind of get it undone. Okay, so you get a little bit more tape and you just get the whole thing except for the top. Do not get the top. Ooh, I'm gonna have to leave it like that because it ripped. It's okay. And it's okay if you messed it up and it ripped or whatever. Cause it doesn't matter. Okay, and make sure you also do the back. So when you do the back, just you just gotta cover it in tape to laminate it. You don't have to do this part, but I would to make it all pretty. So once you got that done, once you laminate all the back, you don't have to laminate, laminate, but you just cover it in like tape. You know what I mean? You know, you know? If you did actually, if you could actually laminate it, like with your laminator, that's fine. You can do that. Just make sure that you cut a hole at the top. Okay, and now you get whatever you want to fill it with which I'm filling it with cotton balls. And you just shove, like, if you have cotton balls, just shove in two. Cause two works great. They fit perfect. And it squishes nice. And how do I know that? If you watched my last ones, I made this potato chip bag. So, yeah, so there's flies everywhere, literally. I am not being dramatic when I say that. I'm not being sarcastic or anything. There are flies everywhere because Abby, which some of you might know, my sister, she left a banana peel in here and now there are flies. <laughs> Which, kind of crazy. Okay, and once you did that, you should be, like, done. Um, and you can do whatever you want with it. You can put it up for display. And it doesn't have to be the same size. It can be as big or as small as you want it to be. Just make sure that you, you do something with it. Throw it around your room, anything you want. This is what mine turned out as. Nice squish. And it's nice. So, bye, thanks for watching, and if you're doing this for a birthday present, make sure to spend a lot of time on it. Make sure your friends love what you're making them. Bye! Oh, and by the way, before you go, watch whatever YouTube recommends you, and follow my TikTok! And, also, if you want... Uh, just so you know, um, if 
you make something like a if you want to make like an iPhone you can do that just remember like you don't have to do the same thing on each side I just left off this side blank but you don't have to do that you can color it if you want to I just left it off blank to make it quick and easy quick and easy tutorial for you and yeah so bye